Hi guys, it's me, Dimension Battles, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are doing the Frozen Pen Challenge. So I got this pen a while ago, and I thought it would be cool to use. I mean, I know it's frozen, and it's not the coolest thing ever, but it's still a fun challenge. So basically, the Frozen Pen only comes with three different colors. It comes with red, black, and blue. And I'm going to try my best to create a card using only those three colors. Okay, so first off, what I decided to do in the end, because I thought, what has red, black, and blue? And that's when I thought, that's right, a magnet. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically creating a magnet card. So I'm just drawing the black border, and then I'm coloring in blue and red. And as I was coloring in, I found it extremely difficult to color it in because it just depends, so it was hard to make the most of it because it was really thin. But I think I managed to do a good job using the colors. So basically the plus sign and the minus signs and the minus signs are the two different eyes and I think they work pretty well together. So I'm just drawing the happy face right there and I decided to draw just a stick figure looking body because I realized if I drew anything stronger he would look too overpowered and I wanted to make him a relatively simple card but still effective like I didn't want to make him look really lame. So he's called Magnet Dude and I decided to make him a metal type which is why I drew the metal type logo right there, and of course, I just colored it in black because I don't have any gray or brown to make the metal type logo. So I decided to make him a stage 2 common card, and yeah, so what? when I was drawing this, I realized that the pen didn't was actually the pen was actually not well, it was like actually really hard to use surprisingly that's why it doesn't look like the greatest card but I think it turned out okay I'm just drawing the background right now so I decided to go for not most of my cars are for some of them I make it look like they're flying in the air and they have a cool explosion effect or a sunburst effect like you know to really make them pop but for this one I thought it'd be cool to just make a basic background and then just make the plus and the minus sign really stand out. So I colored in the plus and the minus black and blue and red so that then it would look like it was really powerful and they were emanating with magnetic with magnet powers and I think it turned out pretty cool. And for the background what I decided to do after I drew the dirt ground, I decided that I needed to color in the sky, but if I colored it in all blue, it would make the blue on the left side of the magnet not stand out whatsoever and it would actually look pretty weird. So what I decided to do instead was just draw light lines on the around it, which is something that I learned how to do in art class, which is pretty cool. And then I drew blue and red over the dirt so that then it wasn't just plain black, but it wasn't also just blue and red. And it's kind of just a mixture of all three for the dirt to make it look pretty nice. And for his ability, when he summoned, and I decided to make it so whenever he summoned, you can make his, I think you can make him gain 100 power or 100 defense. Is that right? Yeah. So you can make him gain 100 power or 100 defense, so you can either give him plus or, or no, you can either make him gain 100 power or make another creature lose 100 power, which is why he has a plus sign and a minus sign, which I thought was pretty unique because you can either take another player out or you can also just power yours up. And if you're wondering why there's a blank area right now, it's because I wanted to give myself some time to talk. So basically, what I've been doing on my channel right now is sorry that I've been super busy recently. School's been pretty crazy. But I'm getting back into doing weekly uploads. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. And I'm also really excited to start working on set 5. And I've already made 2 cards already, so I'm pretty excited for that. And anyways, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye guys! That was the frozen pen challenge.